Hello, everyone. My name is Susan Damiani, and I am the Director of Gift Planning at St. John's University. And I also have the distinct pleasure of being the Director of the McCallum Society, which is our Legacy Society. Many of our members have made generous commitments to the university through their estate plans. And I'm happy to introduce to you today one of our many uh, members, uh, our legacy member, Wendell Cruz. Hi, Wendell, how are you? Hi, Susan, it's great to see you. I'm doing well, thanks. Yeah, it's so nice to see you too. I wish we could see each other in person. I also have on the call my right-hand person, uh, Sue Bernadine. She's the Associate Director of Gift Planning. Uh, she is so helpful. I'm sure you've seen her uh, on the Power Hour calls. She's our production person and she makes all our Power Hours run very, very smoothly. Uh, hi, Sue. How are you doing? Hi. Good. Doing well. <laughs> I think Sue, Sue and I have seen each other once uh, at yeah. the same time in the office, but we are back in the office. We're staggering our hours, mm -hmm. uh, but we're still, you know, working online. And, and that's the reason really for this hello and for this call, uh, because this week is Founders Week and the Fincentians, um, you know, have great celebrations. And part of the celebration is our annual recognition uh, for the McCallum Society. And we have a mass and a luncheon. And I can't believe I've been here almost 16 years and this is going to be the first time that I'm not joining the McCallum Society members at St. Thomas More Church and having this glorious lunch with all of you, with Wendell. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's sad and it's disappointing, but I wanted to make sure that all of you know, all the McCallum Society members know that your support and your commitment is not going unnoticed this week, that we really, really value your loyalty to alma mater. I'm actually a McCallum Society member myself. And as I mentioned, Wendell is a member too. And so I invited Wendell um, to be part of this hello with me so that you could hear directly from a McCallum member on why um, it's so great to be a member. Um, I know from my perspective, I love to be part of the McCallum Society and it is an honor to be the director of this wonderful, wonderful group. Our alumni are outstanding. And as donors, they're even more terrific. Uh, we come together on a monthly basis, uh, socializing, uh, doing so many different activities, arts and culture, and the memories that I look back, uh, that are making me look back uh, specifically today as we uh, reflect on this wonderful uh, society. And there are just so many wonderful memories, so many laughs that we've had together and lots of fun and learning from all the different faculty members that have participated in all the many society events that we have planned. So for me, it's just been a joy. Uh, I really am blessed that I can say it's not a job. It's, you know, I just love coming to work every day because I'm interacting with such fantastic people. And uh, here is one that I'm gonna turn the, the, my iPhone, I should say, I'm not on my computer, my iPhone, I'm gonna turn it over to Wendell because you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Uh, Wendell, I'm gonna turn it over to you and I'll let you talk about your experience being an alumnus of St. John's and um, also, you know, considering and making that commitment to become a member of the McCallum Society. I know I didn't have to push you. I think, in fact, you might have gotten a mailing or something, and I think you came to me, which is even even better. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I think that's correct. Uh, there was no there was no pushing involved at all. Uh, I, I think for me, when I think about my time at St. John's and, and really what I was able to get out of my experience there, there are two things that come to mind that I think are so important, not just for me, but I think applies to everyone in life, and that is opportunity and education. And St. John's gave me an opportunity, and they gave me an education, and it's an education that I value, that I, I really 
a treasure because I, I believe it really put me on the path going forward for everything that I wanted to do. And when you think about people today in, that are getting into higher education or they're going to college, um, you really don't get too many opportunities uh, mm -hmm. a solid education because you're only going to have so many chances to really uh, make that take the career path for that to happen. And I was very fortunate in that I went to a university that gave me not only a solid education, uh, but also provided me with the values that I think are so important in terms of what we do, even going beyond um, as, as a student, but just applying to everyday life. And as a result of that, there are two other things that I think are, are really important once you've gotten that opportunity, once you've gotten that, that education, and that's the ability to give back. I think giving back is, is something that is so important, especially, mm -hmm. again, um, if you have the opportunity to do so. You hear that word opportunity a lot, obviously. Uh, giving back is so important, but also leaving a legacy behind. And I think that because McAllen, uh, the McAllen Society uh, specifically is for that purpose, it was really, to me, just uh, it was a no brainer. I mean, just the opportunity to to be a part of a, of a society and look, let's let's be honest. The society also does some great, great events. I've had the chance to meet some some incredible people and attend some some really fascinating events. And, and that's just really an added perk, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's really more about giving back to the university and trying to do what you can to create a legacy um, for yourself and for the school. Um, that for me is why it was important for me to become a member. When you graduated, Wendell, what, what did you finally pursue? What did you study in and then finally pursued as a career? Well, I, and again, I owe so many, I owe so much thanks to a professor at St. John's. Uh, I was a criminal justice major and I was really struggling at the time of my senior year as to whether I wanted to get into a specific field uh, in criminal law uh, or pursue a path as an as attorney, meaning going to law school, and one of my professors, who I believe still teaches there, I'm still in touch with today, Professor Oscar Holt, who really just took me aside and, and gave me uh -huh. all of the, you know, gave me the, that mentorship type of pep talk that I needed uh, to to really make me understand that this was something I can do, and as a result, I went on to law school. Um, and I graduated, and I've been practicing as an attorney now for over 20 years, and it's. Again, it's really been it's been a rewarding career for me, but I owe it all to the foundation that was placed for me at St. John's. That's terrific. And I also want to I want you to share not only I mean, Wendell is is really uh, very creative as well. He's an attorney, but he's a fantastic photographer. And if you want to share, um, you might see him at many of the basketball games, right? Yeah, you will probably see me, uh, and again, I'm hoping we'll be able to do it this year uh, with obviously our, our world being kind of shaken mm -hmm. as a result of the pandemic. But yes, uh, I've been a longtime supporter of St. John's Athletics, and I've uh, been a big fan of our of all our teams, but in particular our, our men's basketball team, and I was a long-time season ticket holder, and I still attend every game. But a few <laughs> years ago, I started following up with my second passion, uh, which I had put on hold as an attorney, which was photography. And it took some time, it took some doing, but ultimately I, I got myself in the right situation and met the right people. And as a result, for the last five years, I've been doing freelance work as a sports photographer, uh, and I cover MLB, NBA, college events, and I've been able to. I've been very fortunate that I've been able to cover uh, the St. John's men's uh, basketball games as well as other athletic events at St. John's. So, um, it's it's been kind of a, a really like added bonus for me in terms of a career path. That's great. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's fun. I know when I first met you, I was confused because I was like. I, th I thought he was an attorney, but then I don't know, maybe I had it mixed up and then you see a photographer, but it's true. You know, you can, you can follow so many different passions. Um, but, uh, but I know, uh, when, when you meet, uh, Wendell, he is a true, you know, St. John's, uh, fan. You really have great school spirit. So I'm not surprised that you decided to join 
the Legacy Society, the McAllen Society, and we're really, really um, blessed and we feel fortunate to have you as a member. Um, we are hoping, you know, myself and Wendell, we were talking and uh, I know sometimes people feel like they have to consider being a member uh, when they retire, uh, because that's when you think about your estate plans. But Wendell, I'm sure you're younger than I am, but we're not, we're not at the retirement uh, age just yet. And we both decided to be McCallum members. So I hope that um, if you are not a member, you consider being a member uh, for all the reasons that Wendell uh, outlined for you today, which was perfectly said. Thank you, Wendell. And like we said, I think someone said it to me once that when they gave to St. John's, they didn't know they were going to give get so much back in return and have so much fun. So I will, as director of the McCallum Society, I can guarantee that if you become a member and establish your legacy at St. John's, we will make sure that you have lots of fun doing it. <laughs> and I'm going to turn, I'm sorry, what, Winslow? I mean, I just said absolutely. I think <laughs> exactly. that's, that sums it up best. Yeah, and you know we're St. John's alums. You know we we like to have a good party, and we and we do like to have fun and socialize. We're we're very much the social butterfly. So how could you have a society that's not going to socialize with each other? So it's really being a part of something. Like Wendell said, it's giving back, establishing your legacy, but really being part of something uh, and being part of your alma mater. You know you shouldn't let it just stop and end at graduation. Uh, it should be a relationship that continues, you know, for a lifetime. So we, we hope you will consider that. I'm going to turn it over to Sue. She has uh, some words of wisdom, you know, for us, and she's going to clo close this out for us. Great. Thank you, Wendell, <laughs> first of all, um, for speaking with us. It's been such a joy meeting all of you these past few years, and I'm so sad that we couldn't meet um, this year. But with the pandemic and everything, I'm hoping that we can get back to some form of normalcy next fall and see you again. But I did want to let you know that we are currently working on our fourth edition of the Impact Report. So I'm hoping to mail that to you by the end of this month, um, if not early October, and I hope you enjoy it. You've all been such great supporters of St. John's and our department, and Susan and I could not be more thankful to Wendell, to all of you, and we just want to thank you so much. And remember that mm -hmm. we would have been getting together this week. Mm -hmm. September 22nd was the date that we were considering. So we, we are having our daily messes at St. Thomas More Church. Mm -hmm. And you will be, uh, you know, we will be praying. The Vincentians will be praying for you and recognizing your loyalty and commitment to Alma Mater. So thank you so much, Wendell. Thank you. As you can see, Wendell is a very busy beaver. He's like an attorney for, you know, we were talking the other night, you know, he's like attorney by day and then he turns into, he's like Superman, you know, <laughs> that he turns into photographer at night. So the fact that you took time out for us to do this for us, thank you so much. I don't know if you want to have a thank couple, you. we'll, we'll have you and close it out. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to say, uh, I want to echo two things. Uh, one thing. Oh, I, I want to echo one thing you said about your involvement uh, and relationship with the university should not end once uh, you graduate. And if anything, I believe that's when it really should begin. Uh, and and that's point. when it strengthens. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I hope that anyone who uh, who's I'm able to connect as an alum, uh, I make a make hopefully understand that. Um, the thing I was just going to say in closing out is to is like you said, being part of St. John's is kind of being part of the family. I think we all know what that's like, and we, we've all experienced that before. So uh, I just want to thank you for having me. And just want to say, we are St. John's. I love it. <laughs> that's right. We are St. John's. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank, thank you to the McCallum Society. We miss you, and hopefully we'll be together soon. And next year we'll have a spectacular annual recognition uh, celebration. Take Perfect. care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.